This is Marcus Corva with MMA Nits, and we're here in Orange County for RFA 23, Ware versus Murphy. Great fight card yet again, Ed. Congratulations. Yeah, it was a great fight, man. I mean, a crowd turned out, and uh, all the fights, uh, you know, lived up to the hype. You've had three cards here in Los Angeles over the past year, I believe, correct? Actually, uh, we've had, actually, you know, 13 months, we've had about four, four bouts here. Four, four shows and uh, it's been up in Los Angeles, now we're down in Orange County, but uh, is the LA crowd something that you're going after? Is it, is it a good place for you to go? Yeah, I mean, California, you know, it's where I'm from. Um, there's a ton of talent here, um, but you know, LA is a hard market to sell. You know, there's a lot of things to do, so it's it's not our biggest show, but it always seems to, because of the talent that's here, there's always great fights. Um, you know, sometimes we go to other places around the, uh, the country and it seems to we have a bigger turnout just because there's not as many things going on in some of those spots we go to. Now you've been with our, you've been the president for RFA for about two years, correct? Uh, I started in uh, going on three years now. Yeah, uh, three years. Except uh, August of uh, this year will be three years. Stepping over from the management role more towards the uh, promotion role was it a big step for you. Were you nervous when you took on the role? Not at all, man. I came from a background of promoting. I was a big nightclub promoter in Hollywood, and managed bands, so it's very similar. I mean, uh, putting on a show, putting on a fight, similar. You got to put asses in seats, and uh, you know, guys have to be. Uh, people have to come want to watch these guys fight. The same way that if you're putting on a party or a club or a band, people got to come watch them. Now you've had a huge pool of fighters coming from RFA and going into the UFC. Uh, obviously you have a great relationship with the UFC because you've been working with them for such a long time. Uh, was that something that was the plan from day one? From day one, that's what I want to do. I wanted to create a developmental organization for the UFC, and that's exactly what we're doing. You know, we're building up guys to get them to the UFC, and you, and you can see by the fights that we put on. Uh, you know, when you're winning fights here in the RFA, uh, it, that means something. You're, you're you're not fighting a bunch of bums. We're putting on fights that are very fairly matched, and uh, they're true. They're true fights, man. Now, looking at the the pool of fighters that you have for RFA, and and being around the UFC for so long as well. Would you say the fighters put on better shows than RFA or uh, rather they look hungrier when they come in because they know they're fighting for potentially getting into well, the UFC? Yeah, definitely. A lot of the guys are fighting on TV. Some of them fighting for the first time or they're new to fighting on TV and they want to put on a show. They're hungry. They're out here to leave it all on the line and try to get up to the big show. What's next for you guys? What's next for RFA? Uh, March 6th in uh, Minneapolis and then April 10th we're heading to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Is that the first time? No, Dakota you've been to before. Dakota we've been there before and it's one of our better markets, man. Very good market. Are you looking to go into other states over 2015? Yes, it looks like we're going to possibly be going to a new state in May. Looking forward to seeing more of RFA, Ed. Thank you. Thank you.